Nick Paul's going to start at center along with Ace Simon and Connor Sherry. We mentioned Matt Dumba wearing number 24. He's in the starting lineup and raring to go. The Flyers are going with five defensemen and 13 forwards tonight. Lightning never got to their battle level in the last game against Calgary. They didn't sustain their battle level, especially away from the puck. That's something I'll be looking for in their defensive zone tonight. Kutra cuts down the right side, finds the white man in the slot. Scores! Victor Hedman opens the scoring for Tampa Bay, and it's 1-0. That's the way you ought to start things off. Victor Hetman, I thought, was terrific at trying to get the team going when they were starting to lose the other night. He got up the ice with that great ability to skate with the puck. And I thought he was a big-time threat. Well, he's a threat here. He gets almost to the top of the circle. We've seen him take this shot so many times this year. He worked on it a lot in the offseason. Mikey Asimov cuts back and feeds the point. Radish works it across. Hagel to Darren Radish. Back to Brandon Hagel. Duclair's parked right in front, same with Nick Paul, there's a shot on the way, rebound is loose, Duclair's banging away, they score! Power play goal found by Nick Paul, 2-0 Tampa Bay. From the point and on the left wing side, which is the opposite of the main power play unit, because Kucherov is always on the right side. So a bit of a different look for them, but they just keep it simple and get it to the net. Keep the puck loose, find a handle on it, and Nick Paul, who's the recipient of the rebound, and Anthony Duclair keeping the puck alive right in front of the net. And it's goal number 18 for Nick Paul, and that is a career high, and now we've got a scrap. We are expecting this one. This is Watson and Nick Delorier. Two heavyweights for sure at center ice. Watson's got the right three. Delorier answering back. This is what these two do. And for Watson, back in the lineup, he wants to do it. And for Delorier, it's a good time. Watson out there and give Delorier and Watson a chance to do what they do. They wait for the puck to drop. A little old-time hockey there. And a couple of haymakers for sure. Delorier landed one for sure. 44, a big one. Philly, both guys five for five. Watson got some rapid punches, and he got a couple of landed on the side of the head, too. You see him shake off the elbow pad to get his arm loose a little bit. Edmund comes across to Radish, who's got two assists in on both goals. Radish trying to hold the puck in, and it's popped up in the air. Poked out there by Sherry, trying to keep it going. He does! He scores! Connor Sherry goes in back-to-back -back games, and it is 3-0. Which was pretty terrible the other night to Calgary was the fact that Connor Sherry had a goal and an assist. He had not scored since November, and now he scores again in back-to-back -back games. This may make the damn break, and we know that Connor Sherry's a terrific player, two-way player, but the offense just was not there. Just puts a puck on net, maybe his luck is turning. Out of the corner, Sorelli gives it up to Nikita Kucherov. Hedman controls it. Kudrov into the middle, looking for point, cleared, not out, held in by Hedman. 40 seconds to go, Stamkos shoots, saved by Harrison, rebound, scores! Another power play goal, Braden Point, 4 nothing. Bolts. They got the magic going now, both 5-on-5, five five, but particularly on the power play. You can tell on the first one right off the bat that they are under control, they know exactly what they want to do. The Flyers were pretty stationary there. You take the shot, you get the rebound, and when you've already built a 3-0 lead before this goal. Hedman is going to drop this back. Four pointer just scored a power play goal. Here comes Couturier, and shoots! And then it's stopped by Vasilevsky. Welcome back to Emily Arena, getting set to drop the puck here in the second period, lighting up 4 nothing, four different goal scores. And a dominant first period performance, two of those goals scored on the power play. Oh, his hands were so good on that. That was such a long pass, the angle he was on, terrific. Here's a great feed out in front, good stop there by Sandstrom on Darren Radish, yeah. who thought he had point number four. <laughs>
Last night on the floor of Amelie Arena, there was a big celebration as Paul Kennedy has been telling you about. Oh, we're going to have another fight. This is Dumba. Dumba is going to go with Sean Couturier in his lightning debut. Matt Dumba trading him with Sean Couturier. You don't see Couturier fight that much. Dumba can really go. I mean, he, he knows how to fight. This one didn't last very long. I didn't see anything that really led up to this. There may be something, you know, from way back when where these two don't like each other. And for, for Dumba, it Tampa starts in front of the net. There's, number 14, there's a little pushing and shoving. Maybe fighting. that's all it was, just a couple of gloves in the face. And I think Couturier probably being the captain went, you know what? We got to do a little more of this. Let's get our guys going because we were so bad in the first period. John Tortorella was trying to do it, and he ended up getting kicked out because of it. Tim Taylor uh, doing the interview with uh, PK and Kobe. Hagel back to Kutrov to Headman shoots off the post. Victor Headman almost at his second of the night. Up top, Stahl with a shot, and that one is deflected in front of the net. Into the corner, and Stahl can't hold it. Now it's a race. Stahl against Stankos. Stankos is in. Can't get a shot away. Stahl got just enough. Stankos tries to center it. Scores! Lightning goal. 5 nothing, and welcome to Tampa Bay. Steven Stamkos puts in a tremendous effort here. Stahl does the best job he can to prevent Stammer from getting the chance. But then Stammer makes a great pass right to the doorstep. Stahl doesn't take his man right at the net, which is Anthony Duclair. And Duclair does a heck of a job there. He has to fight this pass off because it's airborne and bouncing. Look at how he controlled it. He had his foot backing up his stick. Just ran the play, sifted his way back in behind Stahl, and just tucks it in on the short side. Dumba's played 11 and a half minutes. He's plus one. He's had a fight already. Anthony Duclair's got a goal and an assist already in this game, and he's played almost 10 minutes. So, yeah. Uh, working on stuff around the net with the backup goalie, and I'm like, man, this guy's 40 years old. He's still out here. I mean, it really uh, inspired me to uh, and, and realize what it takes to be a professional. And then uh, for Brad, I got to play with Brad in 06, 07 as a winger. And he um, uh, showed me so much about the game, taught me so much about how to think of the game. Victor Hedman is second of the game. Yeah, Victor scored from the blue line, virtually standing still. This time he gets up on the play, and the Flyers just don't pick him up. Nice job by Braden Point. Look how far back he drives the two defenders, but nobody on Philadelphia is looking behind them, and Victor just sifts his way in. He's at the hash mark. So another power play for the Lightning. They've got two power play goals tonight. This one's back to A.C. Radish, he's got a three-point game on the go. That is a career high for him. He's got the puck. Hagel in, shoots, scores! Seven-nothing in Tampa Bay. The lightning in this game is just extraordinary. Victor Hedman's two goals have been really terrific shots. And then see what the goaltender sees. The screen in front by Anthony Duclair. This has everything to do with it. There haven't been a lot of opportunities on the power play for Brandon Hagel this year. He doesn't get a lot of minutes there, and that one actually gets the flex. As you mentioned, they, they got back to better parts of their game in the second they period. Did. Yeah. But you know. and Lightning's power play, and they're oh, here we go. Yeah, it's Asimov right off the draw. Asimov, and happened so fast. I don't know who's in there with him. Cam Atkinson. Atkinson doesn't doesn't fight a lot by my recollection. Both took the, the draw and literally got in each other's face. So there was. Uh, must have been a conversation there. Sometimes it's something that happened a long time ago. You never know with these guys. It didn't, didn't look like much right there. I mean, frustration level, obviously, in this game for the Flyers. And for Asimov, yeah, just something to do at the moment. On a big night for Jaron Radish with five assists. And Andre Vasilevsky with career shutout number 30. 
his second of the year. This is all lightning, seven, nothing.